Hi and welcome to this video, I'm Lucas. In the last video, we have used the fill with notes function to build a drum groove and create different variations of it. In this video, we will add a melodic synth pattern to the drum groove and we will again use the randomize functions. I have added another track with the Spire synthesizer with this plug sound. And now I'm going to draw in some notes because we somehow need to decide which key or scale we want Studio One to use for the random pattern. So let me just draw in G, C, D and G again. And what I do now is I go to Actions and Repeat Notes to Part End. This just duplicates the pattern to fill the whole part. And now I want to randomize the pitches, but only use the pitches that I already have. So let me first show you the function with all the options and after that I will show you the shortcut. Go to Action and choose Randomize Notes. With this function you can randomize the pitch of the notes, the velocity, the note length and you can shuffle the notes. In my case I only want to change the pitch. And here we have the same options that we also have in the Fill with Notes dialog. We can use the original pitch range, so here it would take the lowest note and the highest note that we have in our event and it will generate pitches within this range. But in my case I don't want the whole range with all the semitones in between, but only the exact pitches that I have drawn in into my part. You could also define a custom range with this range slider, but I go for the original pitches. And I set strength to 100%, otherwise if I set it to 50% it would create the random pitch, then take the original pitch of each note and use the average of both values, which can create interesting results too, but we don't need that here. Ok, now look at the notes. Here we have our random pattern, only with the pitches that I've selected before. And the great thing is that we can easily extend the pool of notes that should be used, just by drawing in some more notes. And now I'm gonna use the shortcut, which is this toolbar. To get this toolbar, activate the macro toolbar and then choose music creation here in this list. This toolbar is a great shortcut for playing around with notes, creating variations, randomizing pitches and so on. I only need to go to the randomize group and click on Pitch. And this gives us a new pattern with all the pitches that we want to have. Or if you don't like it, just create a different pattern. To make this pattern a bit more dynamic, we can randomize the velocity. Let's just check if this synth preset responds to velocity at all. I can do this easily by just taking one note and dragging the velocity up. And yes, the filter opens up with higher velocities and the sound clearly gets brighter. So let's randomize velocity. Very nice. Maybe it's a bit too busy for my taste, so let's just use the thin out notes function. There's also a dialog for it here in the actions menu. Let me know in the comments if I should make a video on the thin out notes function and explain all these options, because this is another function that I created for Studio One a couple of years ago. So if you're interested in the details, just let me know. For now I'll just use the shortcut buttons on the toolbar, it's quicker and more fun. Click on thin out minus 25% and our pattern is being thinned out. And of course you can repeat it to thin it out even further. Or if you want you can also use the simplify option, this works a little differently. What this essentially does is if there are many 16th notes or notes on the 16th notes subdivision to be more accurate, then it will remove the 16th notes and basically creates an 8th note pattern. And if you click it again, you will get only the quarter notes and so on.
that's it for today. Please hit the like button. And if you want more tips and tricks for Studio One, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.